I created a community for ticket resellers. Hi, I'm AP The Plug, a successful ticket reseller. I've helped several people start their own online ticket business. Now I'm offering you access to our exclusive membership program, complete with resources, tools, and coaching to help you succeed. With our program, you can earn extra income, enjoy a flexible schedule, and follow proven strategies to succeed. Don't wait. Click the link below to get started today and transform your financial future. In case you were unaware, Jaguar Wright did an interview with Piers Morgan, as you see on the TV screen right there. During that interview, she didn't only go at Diddy. She actually dragged Jay-Z into the mud and said that Jay-Z was worse than Diddy. Well, since then, Jay-Z's legal team, Jay-Z Beyonce's legal team, reached out to Piers Morgan. I'm going to let him explain what happened to stick around for the whole truth about the story. Well, Jaguar Wright unexpectedly made several serious allegations about Jay-Z and Beyonce during that interview. As I said in the moment, they were not present to respond or defend themselves, but now they have. Their lawyers contacted us to say that those claims were totally false and have no basis in fact, and we've therefore complied with a legal request to cut them from the original interview. Editing, editing interviews is not something we do lightly at a show called Uncensored, uh, but like the proverbial cries of fire in a crowded theater, there are legal limits on us too, and we apologize to Jay-Z and Beyonce. And this is the dangerous part about this game is that, you know, you bring somebody on your platform and, and they, they say stuff about people, and a lot of times nobody's going to do anything. It's only when somebody responds, when somebody sends a cease and desist, when somebody sends a copyright, whatever the case may be, is when it's going to get you to move. Obviously, this got Piers Morgan to move because this is not just a guy that's sitting in his living room. This is a guy that has a brand. This is a guy that has sponsors. This is a guy that has people behind him, you know, and if he puts something out that's false or malicious, he can be sued for millions of dollars, hundreds of millions of dollars, whatever they want to go. So I'm going to play. We actually talked about this yesterday before this happened, about Jay-Z's name being pulled into the Diddy situation. Stay tuned to hear what me and Sandman said yesterday before this even happened, but it's very relevant. Rotate. Let's talk about the Jay-Z effect. Mm. Jay Z, um, it seems as if people are wanting Jay Z to be the next domino that falls. Like people are pretty much it's like they're calling for it. And, and I'll say, you know, obviously everybody's seen Jaguar, right? Yeah. You know, shout out to her. She was on uh, Pierce Morgan, uncensored, and um, in that interview. She said Jay Z was worse than Diddy. She said it before. Yeah. I mean, obviously, but that's mainstream, as mainstream as you can get. And, you know, that's just what it was. And now, you know, it's going a lot more attention because it hit the mainstream. One, my first question would be why do you think now the mainstream chose to go to Jaguar, right? Because she's been saying the same things for four or five years. She came on our platform. Um, not the first interview, but like later on interview, she started talking about going in on Jay-Z and different things. Why the mainstream media want to touch Jaguar right now? Let's start there. I think the mainstream media is using Jaguar right as another tool to destroy Diddy. Um, mm -hmm. What they maybe didn't realize was that she got a whole set of tools that she was going to bring up to that motherfucker. And now we got Jay-Z involved now, too. Yeah. Like their initial Their initial reasoning was to just throw more dirt on Diddy. They may have done some research, and we've had people reach out to us before, reach out to you before. Yeah, you know yeah. And in regard to certain things, and we didn't do them for our reasons, but it, we know that that happens. A little Google search here and there, oh, shit, okay, there's something scathing. Boom, throw it on there. So, hey, she got there, but I, I think that she was used, bro, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And um, because like, even like, I'm not going to say the entity that hit me up, but they hit us up. Um, and, and at that time, they mentioned Jaguar, right? Yep. Like, are we seeing Jaguar, right, on your show? We wonder if you... And at, the, at the time, they was kind of just using me, using us to try to get to someone else when I figured out what was really going on. Because they tried to come on and say, how would you like to come on the show tonight? And all this big candy shit. And then I was like, all right, let's go. And they said, you know, well, how can you get this person? So I just stopped responding to him. <laughs> but that, 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 see, that's what... You're 100% correct. They feel like if they can get to you... It's like chess to use against somebody else. I don't care what you're going to do. What I'm using you as a tool right now. I'm going to throw you away when I get done. Mm -hmm. I'm using you as this tool right now to get what I want. And that's the scary thing about the media. 
Yep. That's the scary thing because they knew. I don't know if they know she's gonna say something about Jay Z. Maybe. Right, right, right. But they knew that she was gonna go rush yard, run rush yard on Diddy because they seen it. Mm-hmm. This ain't the first time they seen it. They know. And they they know and they watching all of this stuff and you know they 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 media right now is being used as a tool against Diddy. That's just what it is. Mm-hmm. But I guess the next part would be the Jay Z thing. Um, I look. I don't know. I don't know Jay Z. Jaguar Ray has spent a lot of time around Jay Z. She said that he's worse than Diddy. What's, what's your thoughts on that whole perspective? Because we never, when we bring on an interview, we don't, we don't, we don't really give feedback. We just no, ask we a question we and we fall back and respect her, you know right? What I mean? Because we we let people when we interview them tell their truth on here. It's not a debate show, right? We're not there to rebuttal anybody. We ask tough questions and let them answer it. Y'all be the judge, right? Um. What do I think about? Ask the question one more time. What do you think? Why? What do you think about Jaguar Wright saying that Jay Z is worse than Diddy? Going on and thinks she has victims and you know a whole bunch of things. We don't know what Diddy is yet, and that's a very Uh, that we don't know what Diddy is yet. We don't. We hear allegations. We hear speculations. We hear all of this stuff, and there's a lot of whispers. We don't even know what Diddy is yet. Unfortunately. The people tearing down Jay Z are the very people that helped him rise up, and that's us. It's us, and yeah. I don't know what it is that we have in our system, in our mind, to where we support each other. We support each other, then we get to a certain level where we look at them as if they look at us as if they're better than us. And now we got to tear them down to bring them back down to us. When it's like, nah, like we got him here, we got the Kevin Hart's there, we got the Jay-Z's there, we got that through their ground root and support. Why do they always have to sell out? Not everybody, now granted, yeah, it's some sell out motherfuckers out there. Yeah, yeah. No doubt about it. But is all of us selling out? Ah. Uh, but we kind of put it under that moniker, the second you elevate past what we seem to be is whatever, now you done sold out too. And now we're gonna do with everything in our power to bring you back down to reality. And that's just fucking sad. This man has not been even smelled at doing anything wild. They heard the Aaliyah allegations back in the day. Aaliyah's unfortunately not here to defend that, so we don't know. They thought about Foxy Brown. Foxy Brown went on social media, and this is not the first time she's done this. Yeah. She's done this a million times before. They said, y'all are tripping. I don't know why y'all want me to hate Jay-Z. I don't know why y'all want me to tear this man down. There ain't no NDA. Just hitting it right there, there. Yet we still talk about it. So I don't, unfortunately, if, 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 Something does occur where Jay-Z is next. Because right now, I just think there are whispers amongst black folk. And that's just sad that we're stirring this and we even getting this pot stirred. Not us in particular, us as a people. Yeah. But if he pisses somebody off and now that relationship, it'd be interesting to see if he breaks a liquor sponsor or he sues this person for whatever or he teeters that horn again at the Grammys, what we start seeing. And that'll be interesting. But right now, I think it's just a... It's a plague we have against some of the people that rose up and yeah, no, nah, bring up, bro. That's cr- yeah, that you know, that, it couldn't have been said any better. You know what I mean? Because that's the hundred percent truth about the situation. It's like we feel like it's like almost like the Jesus story. Like you know, whether you believe it or not, it's still. It's, I'm using it as an analogy. I know people. Oh, this stuff wasn't whatever, right? Whatever, right. It's like this. This, and, and according to the Bible, or whatever, he's out here trying to help people. He's selfless. He ain't sinning. He just trying to, you know, he want to make the world a better place. He want to help people. Why would somebody want to kill that? Why, and then, like, you, you know, you help him get there, and then now he's on a cross, and his his friends is betraying him. Mm. His friends, you know, the Judas or the other bunch is betraying him. Just such this good guy. And I don't, I'm not saying Jay-Z is Jesus or anything like right, that. Of course not. But it's just, like, the way that we have to be, like, the crab in a barrel mentality. Like, okay, yeah. Jay Z, we love you, you this and that, hold the God. And now it's like one little thing. Everybody's gonna eat you. I make that analogy of the elephant. When the elephant's in the nobody gonna come up to him. Nope. Not even a lion. Nope. He walked down, everybody moving out the way. Yep. Nothing. The snake he'll step on the snake, he'll step on a rat. But as soon as he falls on the ground, everybody coming out the woods. Everybody killing him, eating him, biting him. Feeding, yep. feeding on his carcass. We got to stop that shit. I don't know. I wasn't around Jay-Z, right? I don't know what Jay-Z did, but I don't support 
people or anybody making false allegations against anyone, especially our people, you know what I mean, um, in power like that, right? Because as much as we want to, you know, say this and that about Jay-Z, this dude is a billionaire. This dude came from Marcy Projects and did his thing. And whether you want to say he's helping this person or helping, look, he helped hundreds, if not thousands of people. He employs people at the end of the day. And I, I just I just don't, you know, I just don't support it. I'm sorry. Now, if there's truth yeah. to these things, like you said, we don't know what Diddy is really right now. Yeah. We know that, all right, we've seen him beat up on, you know, um, Cassie. That's wrong. We condone, we don't condone that shit. Yeah. But what has Jay-Z done that we know about? Seen him get his ass with an elevator and not lay his hand on nobody. Right. So he may be a cheater. Right. Ain't nothing against the law with that. Right. So I think it's a dangerous game, dangerous, dangerous day. If you got witnesses and shit and people, bring them out. If you got information about Jay-Z, put him out. Bring him on a table. Put it on a table and let him have his day. But if it's just lies and speculation and rumors, it's tough for me to, to get with that, man. I'm sorry. It's tough for me to get with that because I don't, you know, we asked the question, you know, when we brought people in as Jay-Z next because we see the way this shit's turning. It's like, yo, let's think about it. Bill Cosby, R. Kelly, Diddy, Michael Jackson, who else? Prince. Mm -hmm. Name some these all these dudes are billionaires on their way to being billionaires. You don't see a coincidence there? I see I, I, I see a, a pattern there. Mm -hmm. You have Charlemagne that comes out and says he thinks that Michael Jackson is the only one that's been targeted because of his power. All right, cool. I give it to you. I think it's more, but you say it's one. I say all of them dudes was being targeted, some way, shape, or form, because of their power and influence. He the pot calling the kettle black because it wasn't he targeted for a little bit of his power. That's interesting. But anyway, yeah, yeah. Anyway, you know what I mean, I just think I just think we got to be careful with allegations. To yeah. Sum it all up. Yeah. With mere allegations, let's not jump out the window. Yeah. And begin the witch hunt. Because this is what we want. People want Jay-Z's blood right now. Yep. They want his head on the stick. They want Foxy Brown to like, to say, to do something. Yep. Because what if she would have, like you said, any little inclination of anything, been gone. it would have been crazy right now. Been gone. And Jay-Z quiet. Yep. He's smart. He ain't going to take no legal action or nothing like that. 50 Cent probably would have. Right. But Jay-Z's going to sit back, and I guarantee you he's strategizing behind the scenes. Guarantee you, he is. And this ain't no Jay Z glazing because this is the same platform that bought you Ramirez Sadaway. For y'all of you who don't know, go Google that, look it up. For the people that's all y'all just loving Jay Z. Okay, well, his alleged son that looked just like him and has a nice little paper trail <laughs> as to, okay, this could be something legitimate. We let that brother have his piece numerous times and his legal representation numerous times yep. to tell their story. And I'm saying we had his boy on here, my man, I'm, I'm, I'm his De Haven. De Haven, right. telling his story. Repping his project, Marcy made. Yeah. Putting that on there. This ain't no Jay-Z glazing. glazing. We make sure that we do honest work to everybody involved. But when we see a target, nah, it's not right. Jay-Z has a body of work. That man busted his ass to get to where he got. He might have messed them people up along the way. People may not be happy along the way. That shit happens in business. But you ain't going to make me or us turn a blind eye to all the hard work he did because he's somewhere that y'all don't do y'all want to be, aspire to be, but don't got the work ethic to get to. So now all of a sudden, any little sniffing of something, we're going to tear this motherfucker down and bring him right back down into this barrel with us because misery loves company. Fuck that. And then and you think about the only ones that's coming at Jay-Z is the broke ones. When you talk about like, the people that was around Jay-Z. Mm -hmm. Look at Chris. Look at Neef. These dudes are still getting money because they're Rockefeller Association, Freeway. Yep. They ain't saying shit about Jay-Z. Nope. Beanie Seagull done moved on and got a food truck. He ain't saying shit about Jay-Z no more. And when he did, that was... Beef with and that was that they had a, he had a right to say he that had a that right time. to say that at that time at sure. that point in time. Yep. But you see, you like you can have, we can have somebody around us for two or three weeks, and they are gonna blame us for their failures, <laughs> or they are gonna say, "Oh, I helped them get to this." No, nigga. Right. We put the work in. We put the years in. The day after day after day after day, Jay Z put that work in day after day, year after year, building his craft, doing right by his money. He could be in tax debt right now. And yep. Shit. Yep. 
but he made sure he did the right things with his money. He made sure that he, he made the right business moves along the way, and he put his family in position. We can't hate that as black people. We got to stop doing that shit. Oh, he sold out to the Illuminati. Are you serious, man? All the time. They call us Illuminati because of a fucking checkerboard that we just decided on the whim. All right, this look dope. Some shit we had in the old studio. That we got on sale at Amazon. Right. <laughs> sound pads and shit just to throw up real quick. And shit, like, yo, we need a quick decoration. We got a new spot. The wall's white. Oh, right, we got this. Do this. We can change this shit tomorrow. I mean, we Illuminati no more. <laughs> like, it's, it's weird as hell. Y'all took the oath. Y'all did that. Come on, man. Wow. Come on. Then I need my bills paid because they late. Please. <laughs> same platform, same people, same way since 2017. Right. Y'all want to say because of a check. It is easy to say. Yeah. And unfortunately, it's us that's saying it. Yeah. Got to stop. Yep, definitely. But yeah, man, uh, you got anything else? Nope, Good. Nope. All right, yeah, another episode of the Hip Hop Uncensored podcast, you know, in the book. And it's, it's, I like it, man, because, you know, like we bring people on here, but we never give our opinion on the interviews. You already know, when y'all catch us on here on the podcast, we give an all raw, freaking opinion on this joint. Yep. And even when we bring somebody on that we disagree with, we can easily go and try to flex our muscle and give our opinion. Oh, yeah. Forward. Right. It's a certain level of people that agree with that person. Let them speak their truth. So certain people that disagree, y'all go ahead and rebuttal. That's why we. That's why we're known as some of the best interviewers in the game. And I'm not. I can't. I, I'm humble in saying that, but right. that's been confirmed by some of the best in the game. Yeah, we can humbly say sure. we're some of the best interviewers in the game because we allowed our people to speak their truth. Definitely. That being said, man, another episode of the Hip Hop Uncensored podcast in the book. That's your brother Sam, man. For our Hip Hop News, and your brother Ugad Hip Hop News Uncensored together with Hip Hop Uncensored podcast. Over.